The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Championship. And the passion this crowd has for this superstar is truly amazing. Just listen to him. Well, you can tell by the walk. The challenger is ready for this one. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. This one promises to be one of the most historic WWE Championship matches in years. Introducing the challenger from Minnesota, weighing 255 pounds, R. Anderson. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 243 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Nature Boy, Rick. So much anticipation. This is going to be one for the record books. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. And Ric Flair reverses it. I think I saw him too fly out. Double A. Anderson, what must he be thinking now? If Arn Anderson can land that double-A spine buster, you know this match is all but over. The prestige of holding a singles title certainly hasn't been lost. Just look at the ferocity in which these two are competing. Quick thinking to avoid that. and energy is now focused on that arm. Yeah, he's got tunnel vision. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. As King mentioned earlier, Arn Anderson's spine buster can end this match at any moment. But so can his DDT. Let's not forget about that. Well, of course, we've seen Double-A finish off many a competitor with the DDT. But when it comes to the most lethal move in a 
his arsenal, it has to be the spine buster. Clearly on a mission here. I'm not sure I can watch this. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Not today. Too fast. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's looking to keep him grounded here. Covers. One, two. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, looking to put an end to this one. Well, that's it. Here's the cover. One, two. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? We're looking at complete domination here. If I'm in the ring with Ric Flair right now, I'm looking out for that chop block. Once that comes, you just know the figure four isn't very far. Oh, my, Arn Anderson. Going for the cover. Oh, that's not good. Double A DDT. What a finishing maneuver. This could be it. It's got to be it. Arn into the cover. Arn Anderson on the offensive. Yeah, here he goes. Look out. You brought it up earlier, Kang. The figure four. It undoubtedly has to be considered one of the most iconic finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Yeah, and the iconic part is that if you're keeping score, I'm willing to bet Ric Flair has been beaten by the figure four just as many times as he's won with it. Ric Flair reversing it. Incredible. And he gets out of the way. Look at this. Arn Anderson doing some good work here. He's impressive when he gets on a roll like this. Boom, what a slam. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I bet he can't believe it either. That must have felt awful. We know what this is. He's really squeezing tight on that figure four. This is not the position you want to be in. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Covers. <laughs> Folks, I would not be surprised if we were looking at the crowning of a new champion here tonight. I don't recall the last time I saw a more focused challenger. Not today, too fast. Makes the cover. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent up frustration tonight. You brought it up earlier, Kang. The figure four. It undoubtedly has to be considered one of the most iconic finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Yeah, and the iconic part is that if you're keeping score, I'm willing to bet Ric Flair has been beaten by the figure four just as many times as he's won with it. Textbook offense here. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. He's looking at it again. 
He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. Arn Anderson digging down deep. He wants this one bad, Cole. Extra slow getting back to his base here. That's a classic textbook maneuver. Exactly the way it should be done. Amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Nowhere to go. Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here to try to break this hold. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? Makes the cover. One, two. with the reversal. Oh, that's devastating. Thinking to avoid that. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Again, this one's for the most coveted prize in sports entertainment. Look at this hang time. Incredible. He's showing no signs of letting up. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. Can he do it? Can he dig down deep and fight out of this hold? And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Going for the cover. One, two. Man, somebody's going to be sore in the morning. Stay down. Stay down. All right, here we go. Arn Anderson setting it up. This could be the DDT. The end is drawing near. The end is very near after that DDT. This should do it right there. I think this is it. Two, three. Holy cow. We have a new champion. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. here. Let's check them out. Oh, there were some unbelievable highlights. Watch this. three count ends this one and there's your winner folks we knew it would take the performance of a lifetime and that's exactly what we